Leviticus 25 to 55 KJV For unto me the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. I said in a ministration somewhere yesterday that every single Christian is a servant of God. It's not exclusive to pastors, bishops, evangelists, apostles, or prophets only. Every single born-again Christian is a servant and can be used anywhere as a vessel of honor. Romans 6, 16 KJV Know ye not, that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. His servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death, or of obedience unto righteousness. While those in the kingdom of darkness yield their allegiance and loyalty to the devil and are servants to him, yet it is still within God's constitutional rights to use any of them if he so desires, including the devil himself. Jeremiah 27 to 6 KTV And now have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beasts of the field have I given him also to serve him. Genesis 1 27 KTV So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them, God he created you to serve him, and if you are privileged to be born again. become a vessel of honor for service in his vineyard. However, if you are not born again, you are excluded from all these privileges. Matthew 18 to 7 KJD Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. The enemy uses his servants to create offenses trouble, evil everywhere. No part of the world is spared of their evil influence, however, the Bible says, Woe unto them. John 3 to 7 KJV Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. 1 Peter 1 23 KJV being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Do you want to be a vessel of honor, then? You must be born again. Enjoy your day, O.D.